So this company just reported earnings after the market closed and it moved 6% into the green. Let's go ahead and talk about it and break it down. I really hope that you learned something new. And if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. And also don't forget, if you have any questions, either comment down below or shoot me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram, which is the, third, the first or third link in the description down below. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. You guys can see that it is United Airlines. United Airlines came with an earnings per share of two versus an expectation of 1.7 and revenue came in at 13.6 billion when the forecast was 13.55. Now, when it comes down to the actual movement that we saw with United Airlines, I was looking at just different airlines on how they were affected. United Airlines gapped up 6.14% after the market closed. Again, exceeding expectation even after what happened with its 737 MAX landing uh, or incident, my apologies. Uh, United Airlines has not been performing the best, especially after that incident. We saw a very aggressive sell-off. But again, a lot of its investors probably quite surprised with the nice little push up. Not only did United Airlines push up, but it also helped American Airlines, I guess, due to better than expected expectations, uh, caused American Airlines to push up 2.8%. I do want to remind you, uh, the $14 to $15 range tends to be an overbought level for United Airlines. Uh, I'm sorry, for American Airlines. And American Airlines is set to report earnings before the market opens on Thursday. Also, Tuesday, we have Netflix and uh, Verizon reporting earnings, Verizon and 3M before the market opens, Netflix after the market closes, and then Wednesday is the big dog, we have Tesla. Very quickly, I want to talk about Tesla because not enough people are bringing this up. Tesla's not doing hot. It's literally a perfect recipe for disaster. Tesla has lost, what is it, like 40%? I'm sorry, 20, 21%. 21.3% in the past couple of weeks ever since we really began to see a lot of selling pressure shortly after Elon made the threat of possibly leaving Tesla and taking his talents when it comes down to the AI and robotics elsewhere because he doesn't feel compensated and he also wants more voting rights. Tesla is set to report earnings Wednesday after the market closes. I plan to live stream it here for free on my YouTube channel, so just another reason to subscribe. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is that people think that, well, Ricky, Tesla's already oversold. It's gonna bounce here. Again, if it reports earnings and it's not as good as expected, we're so close to our previous support that can this be the breaking point that it sent us to potentially new lows than what we've recently seen? If you look at the day chart, it gives you a much bigger perspective. Oh crap, 200 is not the lowest that it can go to. It's been that lows of 100, you know, just uh, pretty much almost two years ago, right? Early 2023. I'm sorry, that's one year ago. I don't know uh, why I said two years ago, but yeah, uh, early 2023, um, we could see that it was trading at lows of $100. Right now, it's nearly at lows of 200. So if you think that Tesla is oversold and that it can't get cheaper, again, the cheap can always get cheaper. And trust me, the stock market will remind you of that. The only other thing that I want to quickly bring up is Bitcoin. Bitcoin continues to teeter totter around the $40,000 range per coin. Bitcoin has been very bearish ever since the announcement of the spot Bitcoin ETF approval by the SCC and its following or its counterparts known as Coin and Mara, two companies that supposedly were supposed to do very well shortly after this approval have absolutely started to crash. Mara alone has lost 50% of its value from its peak of $31.97. And when it comes down to Coin, Coin's just getting started. From highs of 188, we're at lows of 127. And again, the more that Bitcoin continues to sell off, the potential more selling pressure we might see in companies like Coin and Mara, something that I'm definitely going to be following up with because I love shorting these overvalued companies that were hyped up due to something that ended up not meeting that expectation for that hype. So again, Coin, Tesla, and Mara are all in my radar for possible companies I would like to short if direction is favorable and they continue to make new lows. So again, I will be trading live tomorrow right at market open. I hope to see you there. If you guys want to tune on in, it's the second link in the description down below. And remember, if you have any questions whatsoever, shoot me a, uh, shoot me a direct message either via Discord or via Instagram. And that's the first or third link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.